What's this? Are you on Twitter again? Haven't you got any real work to do? Actually, I am working. Really? What are you doing? Funny you should ask that. Let me show you. Much as I love working here, there aren't that many people in the office, or even at this institution, who do what I do. Microblogs like Twitter are open networks, which makes it easy to find interesting people who do similar things to me. Yeah, and find out what they're having for lunch. Why would I want to know what people are doing all the time? Well, knowing more about the people in your network lets you find shared interests, make new connections and see opportunities to collaborate. People do post all sorts of things, but that's what makes it interesting. But you can't say much in 140 characters, can you? Just because posts are short doesn't mean they can't say something important. That might be something profound or something more practical, but both can be very important. And don't forget, people use their posts as pointers to other things. What do you mean? Well, they make posts that are links to things like an interesting website they've found, a blog post they've written, a video podcast, anything really. But isn't that just annoying? People sending you things you could find yourself? Well, think of it as a recommendation service. If you have a network of people whose judgement you value, then their recommendations will count. They have to filter out the huge amount of content on the web and pass on what they think is the best and the most relevant to their network. So you get a better idea of what your network is interested in right now. OK. I can see how that might be useful. Is there anything else? Well, do you remember that international conference you couldn't go to? With microblogging, you could have got real-time comments from the people who did go. You could even have asked questions as if you were there and joined in the discussion. But wouldn't I have to follow everyone who went to the conference? No, there are simple ways for people to tag their posts, which means you can search for them and aggregate them all together. And asking questions isn't limited to events. Have you ever tried crowdsourcing? What? Crowdsourcing. Asking your network a question. Isn't it quicker just to use a search engine, like Google? Sometimes, but it depends on the question. Search engines aren't intelligent, so they can't give you an opinion. Try it. You might be surprised to find out how many people are keen to help you. And you might even be keen to help them. You're convincing me, but how do I get started?